Shreya from At Home Tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on how to multiply the decimal numbers. Our question is, find the following. Let us see one by one. Our first question is, find 2 into 0 0.86. So, solution. First, we have to multiply them as a whole numbers, ignoring the decimal point. So, here 2 is a whole number. So, we can take it as such. 0 0.86 is a decimal number. So, we have to ignore the decimal point and we have to consider it as a whole number. So, it will be 86. 2 into 86 is 172. Next, we want to express this as a decimal number without changing its value. So, it will be 172.0. Next step, we want to place this decimal point in an appropriate place. So, to put the decimal point, the number of digits is to be counted by obtaining, by adding number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the decimal numbers that are being multiplied. So, here the decimal number that is multiplied is only 0 0.86. So, from the right of the decimal point, you have only two digits. So, Therefore, decimal point is to be moved 2 digit towards left. So, on moving 2 digit left from 172.0, see here it is 1, 2. So, we get 1.72. So, thus 2 into 0 0.86 is 1.72. Now, let us see the next question. It is 2.5 into 0 0.3. So, solution. So, here we have both the numbers as decimal numbers. So, we want to consider both the numbers as a whole number, ignoring the decimal point. So, if you ignore the decimal point, 2.5 will become 25 and 0 0.3 will become 3. So, 25 into 3 is 75. We can express it as a decimal number as 75.0. Now, we want to put this decimal point in a proper place. So, to do that, we have to count the number of digits after the decimal point in the decimal number. So, in 2.5 after decimal point the right side we have one digit and then 0 0.3 after decimal point in the right side we have one digit. So, 1 plus 1 totally we have two digits. So, what we want to do? We want to move the decimal point two digits towards left. So, on moving two digit left from 75.0. So, 1, 2. So, we get 0 0.3. 75. So, thus 2.5 into 0 0.3 is 0 0.75. Now, let us see the next question. It is 0 0.1 into 51.7. So, here also we have two decimal numbers. So, first step we have to ignore the decimal point and we have to multiply them as a whole number. So, if you ignore decimal point 0 0.1 will become 1. And 51.7 will become 517. So, now you multiply 1 into 517. You will get 517. Now, we have to express it as a decimal number. So, it will be 517.0. Next step, we have to place this decimal point in a proper place according to the question. So, to do that, we have to count the number of digits after the decimal point. So, in 0 0.1, we have one digit at the right of the decimal point and then in 51.7 also we have one digit to the right of the decimal point. So, 1 plus 1, 2. So, therefore, we have two points. So, we have to move two digit towards left. So, on moving two digit left from 517.0, so here it is 1, here it is 2. So, we get 5.17. The 0 0.1 into 51.7 is 5.17. Now, let us see the next question. It is 0 0.3 into 316.8 solution. So, here also we have two decimal numbers. Same process. First step, we have to ignore this decimal point and we have to multiply it as a whole number. So, if you ignore the decimal point, 0 0.3 will become 3 and 316.8 will become 3168. So, 3 into 3168 is 9504. Express it as a decimal number. So, 9504.0. Now, we want to place the decimal point correctly. 
so for that you have to count the number of digits so in 0.3 you have one digit to the right of the decimal point and then in 316.8 also we have one digit to the right of the decimal point so one plus one totally two digits so you have to move the decimal point two digit towards left so from 9504.0 if you move two digits so one two you will get 95.04 so thus 0.3 into 316.8 will give you 95.04 next question is 1.3 into 3.1 solution so here also we have two decimal numbers so first step ignore the decimal point and consider it as a whole number so 1.3 will become 30 and 3.1 will become 31 now 13 into 31 is 403 to express it as a decimal we'll get 403.0 now we have to move this decimal point so how many digits we have to move so in 1.3 you have one digit to the right and then in 3.1 also you have one digit to the right so one plus one two digits so you have to move two digit towards left from 403.0 so it is one two so we will get 4.03 so thus 1.3 into 3.1 is 4.03 now let's see the next question find the area of a rectangle whose length is 5.7 cm and breadth is 3 cm so what's given length of the rectangle is given 5.7 cm breadth of the rectangle is given 3 cm we want to find area of the rectangle we know the formula for area of the rectangle is length into breadth so length is given breadth is given we can multiply it directly to find the area so length is 5.7 cm into breadth is 3 cm so here 5.7 into 3 how will you multiply first ignore the decimal point consider it as a whole number so 57 into 3 you will get 171 so 171.0 so now here we have only one digit towards the right of the decimal so you have to move only one digit so if you move one digit here you will get 17.10 now centimeter into centimeter will become centimeter square so thus the area of the rectangle is 17.10 centimeter square hope you have understood how to multiply the decimal numbers thank you for watching this video